Stoli. Stoli. What is that fucking thing called? Pineapple, bananas, strawberries. Puts like almond milk, puts a bunch of like chai, grains, nuts. Free chips, yeah. It's full of protein. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, birthday Happy Greg. Happy birthday. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> squid. <laughs> Alpha squid. <laughs> was, I thought it was going to go. Yeah, this sucks being sick. Yo, get me, get me, get me. Alright, Andrew. It's weird, the camera's not working. It's not working. It's so ugly. Not bad. We're gonna zoom in on it. Stuffy, freaking decongestant stuff. I am stopping to get a pre workout. Ooh, get ready for this. That's a small one? All right, can I have a small shamrock shake, please? Beyond whisk and cheyenne? Uh, yes, please. You said shamrock, right? Yes. Okay. So small I'm shamrock, gonna... whipped cream, and cherry. Thank you. Is that going to be ordered? Yeah, that's it. Two Thank you. What's up, guys? We got it. Them shamrock shakes. It's been like a year since I've had a shamrock shake. I'm so stoked. Very thick, hard to hard to slurp through that straw. Eee. That's the stuff. So good. Fit into the macros today, even though we're cutting. Because flexible dieting is where it's at, guys. Got a smile like the sun when that rise right sad man probably oh, yeah. <laughs> so but I never met her But she stay in my mind like a book in his mind What I mean is I probably won't forget her And I kinda what I meet her I feel like I could treat her in ways that she never really been I'm not trying to move fast, not trying to be your next or your last I just want to be your friend We can start it off with that, maybe put our own path If it don't last, we can keep it moving We in a different place, but they say good things come if you wait And I can prove it Outside of the gym, uh, no, I'm looking at a street lamp, not the gym. Um, I forgot my camera in my gym bag when me and Keith went to Chipotle. We were gonna recap the workout and film a little in there, as repetitive as going to Chipotle is. But I ended up forgetting the camera in my gym bag in my car. So sorry, lack of footage on my end today. My error. <clears throat> um, we are coming back tomorrow to the gym to do. Uh, de project deadlift maxes. So obviously, as you saw in the video from today's footage, um, I'm gonna put the light on. As, oh God, this lighting is so awful. Um, oh, as you saw from today's workout, we um, we ended up going for maxes on our benches today rather than do the max projection day, which you know might have not been the brightest idea as. You know, there's excuses out there, obviously. We both PR'd, we didn't fail, neither of us, so we're both happy with that. Keith finally hit his 225 bench, which, obviously, that is a huge milestone for all lifters, you know, at one point in your life. That's a huge milestone. So, I'm trying to block that light out. Um, <laughs> God, solar flares. Uh, God, I can't figure out where to sit. Oh, I know my hand! So, I hit, uh, I hit 250 today. Happy with that, that's a five pound PR. And you know, I'm coming off of pneumonia 
and now a cold. Okay, so there's a little factors that came in today's bench. I felt that, you know, coming off pneumonia and now a cold that I'm stuck with limited me a little bit. It didn't restrict me. I still hit my PR, which I'm happy with, but I feel like there's more in the tank, and I don't think being sick was what was stopping me. When I had to, you know, dip out of my um, my squats from the other night when I tried to squ when I had to squat 295 for four reps one to four reps and I hit three and failed on the fourth one when I shot out underneath that fourth rep like bailed out of it I felt like my right arm kind of got caught with it and my elbow feels like weird I feel like I like hit my funny bone kind of like you know when you hit your funny bone and you get like that weird tingle in like your elbow that's how I felt today when we were benching there was really any factor stopping me I just didn't want to push it. I didn't want to risk, you know, my arm feeling off. I didn't want to risk it. Just really put my uh, my deadlift PR in the programming. I put it down a lot more than it is. My deadlift PR is 405 um, right now. And in the programming, I put it in as 385 just so that I would be able to hit all my reps for sure through the program. Um, <clears throat> so... I marked that down a little bit. I'm just rambling. I feel like I need to just shut up. I don't know. Never mind. <laughs> I'll see you guys later.